In this tutorial, we'll make sure that the, the carousel in your uh, bootstrap project stops auto play or stops auto sliding. Okay, so I have a carousel here from documentation and um, I just copied it and modified it a little bit. Right now, this one is automatically sliding and I want to stop the auto play. I want to stop it from sliding sliding automatically to the next slide. So there are actually a couple of options that, that uh, the documentation give you. Make sure you have the you know, version five, at least I'm using 5.2 here, but probably if it's 5.3 or whatever, it will also work. Um, but you can actually use some options here to fine tune it. So if you want to stop, completely remove autoplay, you can use this interval um, option. So what you do is you go to a carousel, right? And you, on the outermost element here, you can use data because it's using those data attributes. Now in bootstrap five, it's using the BS um, infix. So make sure you have BS and then it's called interval. Right, so usually you set like 5,000 for every five seconds, right? But you can also set it to false. And if you set it to false, it will not auto slide anymore. There is an, there's another alternative as well. So there's also the right here. And this one will start auto play, but only after the user has clicked on the next button first, right? So initially it won't auto play, but only after the user has clicked on the next one, will it start auto playing, right? So you have to set data B as right to true. Make sure you don't forget about this. This is the source for a lot of people's issues with Bootstrap 5. So now it won't auto play. Only after I've clicked on the next one will it start auto playing and sliding to the next one. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.